Lesson 5.1, interest. We're now beginning a chapter on managing money. And our objective for this first lesson is to be able to use the compound interest formula to compute the balance in an account after a given period of time. Let's start by defining a couple of terms. First, principal. Principal is the balance on which interest is paid. Interest is essentially the cost of using someone else's money. So in the case of a savings account, the amount of money that you have in the bank at any given time is the principal. And the bank is going to be paying you interest. That is some percentage of that principal. They're going to pay you for the privilege of being able to use your money. Um, on the other hand, if you borrow money, then uh, the amount you owe is the principal and the lender is going to continue charging you interest on that amount. There are two types of interest that we need to talk about. First is simple interest. Simple interest is interest that is paid only on the original investment and not on any interest added at later dates. So for example, if you invested $1,000 at a 5% annual interest rate, then at the end of, the, of a year, you'd be paid $50. That's 5% of $1,000. Then uh, next year, you'd also be paid $50 because you're only going to be paid interest on that original $1,000 that you invested. You're not also going to be paid interest on the, the $50 that you earned the year before. So that's simple interest, and it grows at a linear rate. That is, it, you're going to earn the same amount, assuming that the principal stays the same or the, that you haven't put in more of your own money, then you're just going to be continuing to earn the same amount of interest each year. On the other hand, compound interest is interest paid both on the original investment and on all interest that has been added to the original investment. So for example, if we've got, if we invest $1,000 with a 5% interest rate that's compounded annually, then at the end of a year, then we'll earn that $50 in interest and that will be added to our principal. So now in the second year, we would earn 5% interest on $1,050. So we'd earn a little bit more. And each year, uh, the amount of interest that we'll earn will be greater. So not only is our investment growing, but it's growing at a faster and faster rate. So instead of earning interest at a Instead of our investment growing at a linear rate, as with sim simple interest, it's now growing at an exponential rate. Also, I should point out that um, it is possible to compound our interest more often than annually. So instead of waiting until the end of the year for that interest to be added to the principal, you could, for example, compound that interest monthly, meaning that at the end of each month, you take the interest that you've earned in that uh, month and add it to the principal. And then uh, your money can grow even faster. So the formula that we're going to use to calculate compound interest is this one. A equals P times the quantity one plus R over N taken to the N times T power where A is the accumulated balance. That is, it's the amount at the end of this investment period. Um, P is the starting principle, the amount that we originally invested. Uh, R is the annual interest rate as a decimal. That is, that's going to be important. We're often given interest rates as a percentage. We need to turn that percentage into a decimal before plugging it into this formula. N is the number of times per year interest is compounded. So for example, if interest is compounded annually, N will be one. If it's compounded monthly, N would be 12. If it was compounded daily, N would be 365. And notice that that N shows up in two different places in our formula. And then finally we have T, which is time. 
And in our formula, it's time in years. So it's the number of years that our investment has been earning interest. And this doesn't necessarily have to be a whole number. It, you could, for example, if the investment, if you had invested for six months, then we put, could put in 0.5 for one half of a year as our T. For our example, we're told that you deposit $5,000 in a bank account that pays an annual percentage rate of 3% and compounds interest monthly. How much money will you have after five years? And we're asked to compare that amount to the amount we'd have in the account if it only paid simple interest. All right, so let's start with our compound interest formula. And uh, so in this case, our P, our starting principal, is $5,000. And the N, the annual percentage rate, is 0 0.03. We're told that it's 3%, but remember we need to put this as a decimal. N is the number of times per year that interest is compounded. We're told that it's compounded monthly, so that's going to be 12 times per year. And T is the number of years that we're going to that this investment is going to be growing. So we're told that it's after five years is what we want to know. All right, so now let's put that in this into that formula. So A is going to be equal to $5,000 times 1 plus 0 0.03 divided by 12 taken to the uh, 12 times 5 power. Now, uh, let me explain what's going on here with, with these. We're dividing this 0.03 by 12 because uh, when we compound our interest more often, it's not that we get to uh, we get the full amount of our yearly interest every month now. We still just get a month's worth of interest, but we're adding it in every month. So we need to figure out what our monthly interest rate is. So if our annual rate is 0 0.03, our monthly interest rate is 0 0.03 divided by 12. And then up here, now we're adding that interest more than just at the end of a year. We're adding it every month. So every month over five years, that's 60 months. That's 12 times five months. So this is going to be equal to 5,000 times 1 plus... 0.03 divided by 12. 0.03 divided by 12 is 0 0.0025. So this is going to be 1.0025. And we're going to take that to the 60th power. And then if we plug that into our calculator, we're going to get that this is equal to $5,808.08. .08. All right, now we're asked to compare this to what we would have gotten if this was just paying simple interest. So simple interest, we're only going to earn interest on this original $5,000. So the interest that we would earn after one year would be 5,000 times 0 .03. Uh, so that's $150. And we would just keep earning that $150 every year. So it's gonna be $5,000, our original principal, plus that $150 uh, times uh, five years. And 150 times five is 750. So in simple, with simple interest, we'd make $5,750. So it's only a difference of $58. By compounding our interest, we've earned an extra $58. Now that's not a lot. Um, but if you did this over a longer period of time, you would see this difference between those amounts grow by a lot. Um, and that's why uh, in, uh, financial managers will tell you that the most important part of this uh, compound interest formula is that T. The T is the most powerful number. It's in the uh, it's in the exponent. And so the longer you can let your money sit in an investment, the better off you're going to be.